there, I'm Jen, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Merlin Mahala D-Throw Explorer Jacket. Now, if you're a writer that really likes that British styling that Merlin's known for, and you want that vintage expedition look, then the Mahala is something you want to take a closer peek at. Merlin is going to be using a lot of heavy-duty materials. This jacket's going to be good for your wintertime riding because it has a thermal liner to keep you warm. It has a permanent waterproof liner to keep you dry. So not a lot of breathability, but if you're in the coldest of the cold, you're going to appreciate all that extra level of insulation and waterproofing capability. Now, the Mahala also has a full complement of armor, and it's meat and sea AA abrasion resistance rating, so it's got a lot in the protective qualities as well. Now, the Mahalo jacket does price in at $530, so it's going to ship to you for free. And as always, our price match policy is in place to guarantee you the lowest price available. All right, so let's talk sizing. Nikki joins us today, and she normally wears a dress size between four and six. Right now, she's wearing a size small in this jacket. That's within the recommended sizing range there on the sizing chart. So our recommendation to you is order true to size. All right, so we have a lot to cover with the Mahalo. We're going to dive right into it, starting up top. This is a really unique collar and I do like what Merlin has done here. So they call this a storm collar. You can opt to have this on or not, but it's gonna give you a little extra coverage if you know you're gonna be in some really inclement weather. And I'm gonna open this up and just show you what it looks like underneath. So you've got that extra coverage there. You could unzip it and just have a regular collar under there. I do wanna point, this is a fold back collar too. So if you're in some warmer weather and you wanna keep that open, you could utilize that system as well. So a lot of little neat features happening in the collar there. Now, as we come down through the torso, you're gonna to see these two to zipper indirect vents. Now what we mean by indirect vent is that these are gonna open up and yes, they help with a little bit of the breathability of the jacket, but they're not really designed to rush air into it. And also these vents are going to the permanent waterproof liner that's incorporated into the Mahalo jacket. So if you're perspiring a bit, these little vents will give you a little bit of relief. But again, remember this is a cold weather riding jacket. So we've covered those events there. I do like this top loading pocket up top here. Again, the vibe of this jacket is old timey explorer feel and vibe. So you got that pocket there. And then also this is a neat little feature too. This is a retainer strap for a hydro pack. Now uh, most hydro backpacks are gonna have its own solutions on the straps, but if you don't, or if you just like the style, that's something Merlin's added on for you as well. Now, as we keep coming through the jacket, your main entryway is gonna be a very burly YKK middle zipper that's underneath this button flap here. So again, this is gonna be good extra coverage in the inclement weather. You have the zipper and then that flap on top of it. As we come and look at these bottom pockets here, again, that's that cargo style top loading pockets. You can store easily a cell phone, other items. And then right behind it, Nikki, if you could sneak your hands in there so we could look at the hand warmer situation. There we go. So again, if you're in cold weather and you're off the bike and you don't want your hands freezing to death, you go ahead and put them in those easy to access hand warmer pockets. Very cool. Now, I wanna talk about main construction materials. What you're looking at here is a 12 ounce Kodora cotton canvas and it has a DWR coating to help with some water resistant capabilities of that material. Um, it's very nice to the touch, it is very handsome to look at. I also wanna point out again that this jacket has a permanently stitched in Risa waterproof water liner and that's why it's really great for that cold weather but it doesn't breathe so well keep that in mind. Now, when we talk about armor, this is one of the most burly jackets I've seen on the market. It has a full complement of CE1 D30 armor, and it's actually going to include seven pieces. So what you're looking at is you have a chest piece for chest protection, you're going to have your shoulder, you're going to have your elbows, and you also have a back protector all included in that original price. So that is a lot of protection built into the Mahala. Now, as we run down the sleeves, I just want you to take a look. You have a adjuster here to fine tune the fit in the bicep. You have some nice quilting on the outside there just for style points. And then at the bottom here, again, another Velcro center style to fine tune the fit at the cuff. Very good. All right, Nikki, if you could turn to the side for us. In the side view, we wanna just give you that profile view of the fit and finish of the jacket. It's cut in a very neutral position, so it could work for a lot of different motorcycles out there. Now, as we come down through the torso, again, you have a true, what we call a true waist, so it's a little high up. Your Velcro adjuster, fine tune the fit up there. Then down at the bottom hem, you have a zip gusset, and that's to fine tune the fit at your hips to your liking. All right, Nikki, if you could turn to the back for us. 
In the back view, I would say just a small miss on this jacket. I would like to see just a little bit of reflectivity, especially on the back side of the jacket. And I think Merlin can do that tastefully somewhere. So in future iterations, would love to see that pop of visibility happening. And as we look here, this is actually a little zipper vent. Again, this is an indirect vent. When you open it, it's just to help the perspiration escape the jacket. As we keep coming down the back side, it is including that back protector. You can expect that fully installed in the jacket when it arrives at your doorstep. And as we come down to the bottom, you have some nice quilted finish here and a generous drop tail for good coverage on the lower back. All right, Nikki, if you could turn to the front and unzip for us, and you can see it's a little bit of an operation because this is a heavy duty jacket that has all those flaps and those zippers. But when we get to the inside, what you're gonna see is that Merlin has included a uh, thermal liner and it's a very nice quality quilted feel. You can see right here and it is full sleeve and you can opt to zip that in or out as you need on your ride. And then on the outer shell, you are gonna have some zippered pockets here for a little extra stowage. And you do have some connection options here. You have a full zip connection connection, or you have belt loops here if you want to connect to a pair of riding jeans. All right, if you could zip up for us, Nikki. And so that's going to do it. That is your full 360 overview of the Merlin Mahala D3 Explorer jacket. Again, this is a jacket that scores a ton of style points. It uses really quality, heavy duty materials, and it's going to be good for any of your riders that are in a cold climate and you really want to stay dry and you want to stay warm. Now, if you have more questions about the Mahala, hit the info button on your desktop or mobile device. It's gonna redirect you to the product page where you can see where product features and read some reviews from writers like yourself. If you have even more questions, give our customer service a call. They're gonna be happy to help you find a riding jacket that best suits your needs. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with Nikki and I as we take a closer look at the Merlin Mahala D3O Explorer jacket. I'm Jen, keep it on too.